Hi, Dr. Michael Corsell is here today. I want to talk to you about cholesterol and just a couple quick tips on what to do to improve cholesterol. Uh, just to back up, just a little bit of explanation of cholesterol, there's LDL or bad cholesterol. Think of the L standing for lousy. That's how you can remember it. Uh, the LDL or lousy cholesterol, you really want that number to drop. HDL, that's your good cholesterol. Think of the H standing for healthy. So the higher, the better. That HDL cholesterol actually protects you. Um, and then there's the triglycerides. But uh, the LDL and the HDL, that's uh, a big confusion uh, for some folks. There's a more accurate marker now. It's called LDL particle and HDL particle. Particles are just, think of, think of those as the containers that contain the LDLs or the containers that contain the HDL. And there's been a link. Those who have more of those particles are at higher risk for heart disease down the road. So when you get your cholesterol, total cholesterol is not enough, HDL is not enough, LDL and triglyceride is not enough, you have to check HDL particle and LDL particle. All right, Make sure you talk when you talk to your provider, uh, those particles are also getting checked. Um, some folks who are on statins, uh, statin cholesterol medications, um, those target cholesterol and they've been found to actually um, prolong your life, but the reason why they prolong your life is not really by lowering the cholesterol. They actually prolong your life because they work on targeting inflammation. Again, chronic inflammation is the thing that's causing all the issues in our first world with, with our first world problems. Um, so, a couple quick tips for you to, if you want to really improve your cholesterol is just focusing on portions. Now, there's some people who eat. Uh, we used to think that uh, coconut oil was bad for you. Coconut oil is actually beneficial, but if you have a crazy amount of coconut oil, if you have a crazy amount of avocado or a crazy amount of raw nuts, those might be good for cholesterol, but if you have too much of it, it's going to cause some issues. It's always about portion control. Um, and then you can also, I also recommend patients to take some natural anti-inflammatories. Vitamin D, for example, make sure you get your vitamin D levels checked. There's been a link of, with vitamin D at lowering inflammation. And again, cholesterol that's always high just essentially means chronic inflammation in your arteries. So you really need to take something natural to lower that. So taking a nice vitamin D supplement uh, every day is going is, is, will, will help to keep that inflammation in check. Um, a lot of folks, I tell them to take some fish oil as well. Fish oil is also a natural anti-inflammatory. If, if you don't have like fish, you can do uh, ground flaxseed uh, as well or flaxseed oil. Those are also good omega-3s. Um, and then other people take actually a natural uh, anti-inflammatory supplement, something like with turmeric, ginger. Um, those can all target uh, inflammation. And the last thing is, um, I always have a lot of patients say, yeah, it's just, it's in my family. That's why my cholesterol is high. There's nothing I can do about it. The thing is, you know, it's a smaller percentage where it's genetics. Maybe 10 to 20 percent of fo most folks where genetics play a role. The other folks, it's likely because of lifestyle. Portion, bad portion control, not enough exercise, and poor diet, eating a lot of fried foods, junk foods, a lot of sugars, that, that type of thing. So you don't need to go and join a gym right away. If you're just going for a walk, that's, that's better than sitting on the couch. So just small baby steps, that's the best way to go. But think of starting those natural anti-inflammatories to really get this chronic inflammation under control. Um, hope that helps, and I'll talk to you guys later.